Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss about the gyroscopic effects on aeroplanes. So in aircrafts, gyroscopes are used in compass, attitude and turn coordinators, right? So in this chapter we'll study how gyroscopes help as turn coordinators. How do they coordinate, how do they help the aircraft whenever the pilot takes turn towards left or right when the propeller is moving clockwise, anti-clockwise. For all the cases, we'll see what happens to ensure that the turn is coordinated and balance is maintained. Right? So here we have made a top view of the aircraft. Not a very good one, but still you can understand the top view. This, the front end is also called as the nose end. These terms are very important because Many times in questions, instead of giving the front end, it is given the nose end. So we should know front and nose, they both are the same ends, right? The tail end is also known as the rear end. So the first case that we are taking is the viewer is viewing from the rear end of the aircraft, right? And this is the side view. If you look from the right hand side of the aircraft, we have used the right hand side of the aircraft, right side view. So this is the view, right? Now, to understand the whole concept, there are few things that we need to know. The vector diagrams for angular velocity plus the right hand screw rule. These two concepts, these two fundamentals will help us in determining the turn effect, right, on the effect, the turn effect in all the cases. So the first case that we are taking is the viewer is at the rear end and this aircraft the propeller is rotating clockwise now i have to make a vector diagram let's say that the spin of the axis of rotor is this axis right so i know the angular velocity omega right so we make the vector oa which is parallel to this axis of spin and we already know the magnitude omega. So by taking a proper scale, we can plot this vector OA. Now let's suppose that this aircraft, it takes a left turn, right? It takes left turn. So what happens? The vector, it shifts its position to a new position. The axis of spin, it shifts to a new position. So this becomes the new axis of spin. So this we denote by a new vector, which is OB, right? which is parallel to this new axis of spin, magnitude omega, we know it remains the same. So we are keeping omega same, we are only changing the direction of spin, right? We are only changing the direction of spin, so it is denoted by OB. Now, we know how to solve the vector diagram, so change in angular velocity is denoted by the vector AB. And this AB is the angular, the change of angular speed this AB also shows the angular acceleration and it also shows the active gyroscopic couple, right? Now, whenever the gyroscopic couple is acting, when I say couple, that means they are pairs. So, reactive gyroscopic couple, it acts opposite to this active gyroscopic couple. So, when active gyroscopic couple is acting A to B, reactive gyroscopic couple, we show this way, right? which is the in the reverse direction of a b so this is a dash this is b dash a dash and the direction of this reactive gyroscopic couple will always be opposite to that of this active gyroscopic couple now if you apply the right hand screw rule what you can see you can see that the thumb is showing the direction of the couple and direction of this arrow in the vector diagram and on the basis of that if you curl your fingers or if you assume that you're moving a screw so the movement of screw the direction of movement of screw tells us the direction of rotation of the propeller whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise right so for all the cases this, this rule is applicable so AB, I know, I know the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple, which is B dash A dash. Now, if you apply the right hand screw rule, what you will find? What you will find? That the direction of this, the sense of this reactive gyroscopic couple is 
counterclockwise, right? If you curl your fingers this way, right? The fingers are coming this way. So the thumb is showing this way, which is the direction of the arrow of this gyroscopic couple, right? For this uh, reactive uh, gyroscopic torque. So I got this that this P dash A dash is acting counterclockwise. Now, how do we see that what is the effect of this counterclockwise reactive torque on this body? For this, we take the right hand side view. We are taking the side view of this aircraft. So, this is the nose and this is the tail. Now, if you assume that some counterclockwise force is acting on the body, what will be the effect? This counterclockwise force will tend to raise the nose and depress the tail. So, while taking a left turn, the aircraft will not be stable. It will not be perfectly vertical. The nose will be lifted up and tail will be depressed down. Now, if you take the opposite of this case, that means that the viewer is at the rear end only. The aircraft is, the propeller is moving clockwise and the aircraft, it moves towards the right. So, we'll plot, so we can plot a vector diagram. This is the axis of spin. So, OC is the axis of spin, the initial axis of spin. Now, if it changes its position and if it takes turn right, so this, uh, I mean, parallel to this axis, let's assume this is OX dash, we'll get the vector which is OD, right? Now, the change in angular velocity is along CD. The change in angular acceleration is along CD plus the direction of active gyroscopic torque or the uh, active gyroscopic couple will be along CD. So, where will be the direction of reactive gyroscopic torque? It will be in the opposite direction, which will be D dash C dash. Now, if you apply the right hand screw rule, you will find that the direction of this couple is clockwise, right? This is clockwise. The thumb is uh, acting the thumb is towards this point C dash and if you're curling your fingers, they are coming clockwise. So now when I see the effect of this clockwise reactive gyroscopic couple on this aircraft, so when it is clockwise, it will go this way. So what will it do? The, this clockwise torque will tend to raise the tail and tip the nose, right? So whenever we are taking a right turn, the, the tail will rise up and nose will dip. Now, the motion of this tail and nose, it differs on lot of positions. The turn that you are taking, the sense of rotation clockwise or anticlockwise plus the position of the viewer. Now, we see another case where again the viewer as, is at the rear end only, but the rotation of rotor is different. It is counterclockwise in the opposite direction. So what happens if this is counterclockwise, right? So the arrow, it goes O2G, right? The first case we take, which is O2G. That means the viewer is here counterclockwise. If you use your right hand screw rule, right? If you curl your fingers in this direction, we'll see that thumb goes in this direction. So the vector will be drawn in this way, which is OG. Now, if it takes a turn, so when it takes the right turn, that is, it moves towards OH. So the change or the direction of the active gyroscopic couple will be along GH and the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple will be H dash G dash. Now, by using the right hand screw rule, we know that fingers will curl this way. So, this is which direction? This is anti-clockwise direction, right? So, now when I come to this tail and nose and I see this anti-clockwise direction of G dash H dash, what happens? It raises the nose and it dips the tail. 
right and if i go in the opposite direction that means if i go towards left so the vector i get is of the change is ef and this ef is what the change of angular velocity change of angular momentum and it is also showing sorry not angular momentum angular acceleration and it is also showing the direction of active gyroscopic coupling so reaction will be equal and opposite to it and the direction for reaction will be this which is f dash e dash now if we apply the right hand screw rule what we see that the direction of curling of fingers is this is clockwise right so when we see the effect of this e dash f dash here we see that this is going clockwise that means it raises the tail and dips the nose so whenever we are solving these questions the things that we have to keep in mind the position of viewer right the effect of whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise and on the basis we draw the diagrams and whatever is now see the effect of the reactive gyroscopic torque the axis is always perpendicular to the axis of spin therefore its effect will be felt along this axis right if this is x axis so its effect will be felt along another axis therefore we are applying this gyroscopic couple in the side view to understand its effect now this this is uh, you can say this is a table which is showing the all the possible effects while controlling the turn motion of an airplane with the help of a gyroscope what is the view end whether it's from the rear end or the nose end what is the direction of rotation clockwise counter clockwise whether it turns left or right and how the effect will be seen on the aircraft what will happen to nose and tail that is all shown in this diagram we have already discussed four cases other four you people can discuss you people can solve yourself right thank you